So what is up guys, my name is Frist and today I'm going to show you the updated version of the video that I created. It was the config video, I made it about 5 months ago and I believe you could get a lot out of this video because this is more relevant for the viewer itself and a lot of people elsewhere because this, the previous video was 16 by 9 full res which is pretty good, I still recommend it if you have the computer for it and if you would like to play 16 by 9 but a lot of people would want to play 4.3 just like me. So. I'm gonna go through it, the config itself, you're gonna find it down below in the description, I'm gonna have the crosshair down below and a lot of other things that I use like my launch options and things that I use in my console so let's get straight into it. So I'm just gonna go over the things that I've done to the config, I've done some small tweaks, primarily I've done 4.3 because I thought it was kind of weird to promote to play 16x9 full res when I personally play 4.3 black bars, so this is more relevant and I thought a lot of people might like this one over the previous one. And if you wonder who plays this config, you got Stewie2K, GW and a lot of other streamers, not exactly this but like the resolutions and so on. And if you like the crosshair that's currently on the screen, it's gonna be down below in the description as well as the config itself. So the very first thing you might notice is that I've changed the 1280 by 960 to 1152 times 864 and I also put global shadow quality on high so you can actually get the adva advantage of seeing the shadow of someone coming around the corner. Just learn this, the triple line down there is going to be disabled all of them and I put 4x on the two above and I enabled multi-core rendering which you should too. You can play around with the settings here if you would want to but I highly recommend you to keep it as it is. The resolution is up to you of course but uh, this is what I recommend. So now I'm just going to show you some gameplay of me using the config, how it looks. It's going to be pretty smooth, my FPS should be really high, it's not going to take a lot of your computer because I'm playing on low, only global shadow quality thingy on high. And uh, yeah, this is how it looks, pretty much looks like if you watch Stewie2K streaming and it feels really good. Keep in mind this is black bars not stretched, it's just stretched for you to view because I stretched it in OBS. And if you wonder if there's any commands that I use afterwards that's not included in the config, I use two things and that is FPS underscore max 500 or you can just put it on zero which I mostly use but uh, before I used to use 500 it's about the same and I also use clear because that's just gonna get rid of everything if you have the hard OCD. You can also see me switch between left hand and right hand. I currently have it key binded to T for left hand and caps lock to clear it to go back to right hand. All you need to do is just put this line in the console and remove key name with the key that you would want to use. And you do the exact same thing with the zero one, you just put another key just Make sure you don't have the same key because I don't think that's gonna work. And for me I use T to put it on left hand and to put it back on zero I just use caps lock. I noticed after the first video I made a lot of people asked me for the launch options. I didn't think a lot of people would care about this because personally I just put this in here which is no way removes the intro of the game when you launch the game because personally I have had some bad experiences putting a lot of shit in here so, so I wouldn't recommend you to put a lot of things in here but if it works for you you could put all these things that a lot of people recommend like 144Hz and, and using the core of your CPU I believe but that's up to you. It's very simple if you have Nvidia to change to stretched from normal resolution so if you're using this config and you don't want black bars if you want to stretch it this is how you do it you go down right you click you right click nvidia and go to control panel you click what i've clicked here and you can just go on full screen and just gpu check it's gonna black out for a couple of seconds and then you're good to go if you would want to increase your digital vibrance on your monitor which i highly recommend you do you don't have to go all the way to 100 percent even though i do and a lot of other people do as well I recommend you to up it to at least 70 or 80 that's going to make a huge difference for your gameplay and it's going to be a lot more clear and the game itself is just going to look better but also make the models appear much easier even though the monitor itself has a lot to say about that because it's the black equalizer on the monitor. And for those of you who care what sensitivity and DPI I use, it's on the screen right now. I use 0.9 in game and I use 800 DPI on my mouse. This is 100% personal so this is just for the people who would like to know what I use personally. So there we have it guys, thank you so much for watching, this has been an amazing video to create, I've used so much time on it, hope you guys appreciated it, please leave a like if you liked it, and if you really liked it please hit subscribe, and if there's anything you would want to ask, or if I forgot something to put in the video, feel free to ask in the comments section down below, and as always, have a good one.